In this video, I will be discussing climbing ripple bed forms, of which there are three primary types. Type A, or erosional stoss, are those dominated by bed load sedimentation, where V sub X, the horizontal migration rate, is greater than V sub Y, the vertical aggradation rate. During ripple formation and propagation, these factors compete to produce an angle of climb, theta, specific to the conditions of the system at that moment in time. You can see here that, as the transported bed load crests each successive accreted ripple, it cascades down the leeward face at the angle of repose, producing the vectorized direction of climb. Next are type B climbing ripples, or depositional stoss, which form as a response of the riverbed to decelerating flow with a relatively constant rate of aggradation. Theta, the angle of climb, is this response. If aggradation remains constant and migration decreases, or if migration remains constant and aggradation increases, theta increases, producing type B ripples. If migration remains constant and aggradation decreases, or if aggradation remains constant and migration increases, theta decreases, producing type A ripples. Here we see aggradation begin to dominate, where continued deceleration of the flow fosters increased vertical accretion. Now we transition into type C, or draped laminations. These are not technically ripples, but rather expressions of ripples in sediment blankets overlying actual ripples. These form when the flow descends below the threshold velocity of the suspended sediments, effectively forcing the system out of equilibrium to be dominated solely by aggradation. Watch the red lines progress upwards, following the direction of ripple propagation. Climbing ripples are important to geoscientists because you can trace the direction of climb for a visual demonstration of the dynamic equilibrium at play. There will always be more complex examples in nature that will require more meticulous analysis. These are the basics, and they are an excellent tool in the hands of any prospective geomorphologist. Also, though not technically referred to as laminations, the broader classification is an outdated use of nomenclature I adhered to for ease of reference between source documents and my project. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the show.